This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Kip Wing. Kip, nice to have you here at St. Croix Casinos, Turtle Lake. Uh, great show tonight. Acoustic, uh, week three of a five week series. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and because uh, I do these things all over the country and all over the world. <clears throat> I didn't know it was a series. That's cool. Yeah, that. they have a five week series, and. Um, Man, the fans were really great audience. For, great yes. room, great audience. I was just thinking it'd be a good place for my band to play. Yeah, it's a great, great venue. Great it's venue. a good venue, man. And the people were really uh, generous. Really, I mean, they know the music, so that was nice. Yeah, they were naming out everything pretty much in your arsenal. Yeah, and, uh, I was surprised. By they knew the stuff. Yeah, avid fans, that's good. Um, let's a little, talk a little bit about uh, your background, uh, uh, how you grew up and got into music. In a band with my brothers when I was a kid. My parents were in a band. They put us in a band. I've just been doing it ever since I was about six years old. Um, played in a band with my brothers until I was about 20, and then moved to New York and waited tables and got a break with Alice Cooper when I was 23, 24 maybe. And then I toured with Alice Cooper for a while, and then I quit, left Alice to do Winger. And, Rev and I got together and did our winger and did very well in the you know, late 80s and kind of about through 93. And then, uh, you know, just kept on plugging. I, I kind of, you know, I, I'm a big advocate of studying music, so kind of, kind of a music theory geek. So I, I perform and I use my performance as a platform to keep studying music and I write classical music and stuff. So. Yeah. But I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, I was uh, going to touch on that classical part because uh, you studied it when you were younger uh, and you're brought up and you have some stuff coming up uh, that you said you're going to be recording. <clears throat> yeah, I'm recording an album with the San Francisco Ballet Orchestra so that's going to be amazing. Uh, we're doing it at Skywalker Sound which is really cool. And uh, that should come out sometime this year. And I'm getting some uh, other performances with different orchestras and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm doing gigs like this, and my band's out playing. So got a lot of stuff going, and uh, you know, I'm lucky to be working uh, this much. Um, I noticed obviously that uh, you play guitar and you play bass guitar and keyboards. Uh, one of the things that I did see, uh, mandolin. You you play the mandolin? I don't really play the mandolin. I, I mean, I'll play any stringed instrument you put in front of me, but, um, you know, there's that, I think you were looking at that one song, Steam, that's the only song I ever played mandolin. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I, it needed something, so I, you know, I own a mandolin. But I live in Nashville where, like, the greatest mandolin players of all time live, so yeah. if I ever need a mandolin player, I'll pass on playing it. Bring in one of the experts, but I, I did on a couple albums. But that that record, that was in 1997. Okay, um, one of the what, what is your favorite song that you've ever recorded? Oh God, that's impossible. That'd, that'd be like saying if you had ten children, which would be your favorite. <laughs> Anything really sticks out? Well, you know, no, because the songs write themselves. You know, you don't any any good songwriter will tell you that. You know, all you have to do is get out of the way of the song, and it, it'll tell you what it wants to be. So you can't really... I mean, there's some things where I feel like I did a better job birthing the song better than the others. But, you know, Headed for Heartbreak, for example, was like a, a song that in the early days that I feel like was different than the norm and had some musicality to it that was different cool arrangement and amazing guitar solo.
biggest accomplishment in your career? That's an excellent question. Being married for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years, but with her for yeah, I, I know that. I know um, that feeling too. I'm going on nine, so it's. So uh, yeah, but, I mean, I I had my classical music played at Lincoln Center. That was that was a good one. Platinum albums. Um, probably some of that stuff. I mean, I got a lot of them. I, I'm lucky. But most of them just happen because you keep pushing. You know? mm. You know, you never really, I mean, unless you're like, like, I could see like an Olympic swimmer wants to gold medal, you know, so you go right. into that. But with my thing, <clears throat> you know, you kind of do the best you can and then the audience decides. Okay. You know? So it's kind of a different deal. Uh, anything uh, on the horizons, uh, on the horizon, excuse me, um, besides uh, the classical uh, pieces you've been working on or about to record? Uh, well, I've got a, a, all the material for a solo record ready to start working on. It. And, uh, you know, Rev and I have talked about writing a new record already. We came out with one last April, so. Um, and that'd be, you know, Rev and I sit down, and we, it's pretty easy for Rev and I to write, you know, so. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's, I mean, I do a lot of, recording for other people and stuff. I just played on the new Alice Cooper album and stuff. Um, you know, so I do different stuff. It's always coming at me, you know. A lot of live gigs, really. Okay. What, what do you do for your downtime? I mean, um, you seem like you're constantly busy a lot. What do you do for relaxing? You know what, I relaxes? haven't had any downtime since the last April. So, That's a long I mean, time. I really have, literally, I mean, I, I Maybe two or three days at the most. So I need some downtime. <laughs> but I can't do it yet because I've got too much stuff coming up. So yeah. I'm just pushing through. You know. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to take too much of your time. I appreciate yeah, uh, talking about the shout-out in Minnesota. And um, I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak to the fans before we go and wow. say whatever you want to say. Yeah, shout-out Minnesota. This is Kip Winger. Just want to know you're a great audience. I love this place, and it's been really good to be here. And uh, hope we come back, and I'll come back with the band. Thank you.